look what's arrived. Wonder what this could be for the BF. I think I'm uh, knowing. <laughs> Looks like something for the ICC. Just put that away. Oh, nice new cover. This only took um from when they posted it, it only took it it was over pretty much posted on one day and came the next, so that was pretty good. One second, I'll just get some scissors. Okay, just cut that a little bit there. Second. So it's got the outer wrapper of plastic protection. One handed. And it looks like it's just got another slip cover on it. This is like the charcoal grey look. A little bit different to um, all the shattered ones in the wrecking yard. It's nice. So I should, I think, I think it sits like that. I noticed in the FG pretty much they don't have anything like this. They just made it the ICC all one part. Now, with these clips on this one, I'm going to remove the yellow um, holding clips in, and I'm going to show you why. But yeah, this is uh, this feels pretty good. Made in where? Taiwan. Unreal. So when when these other aftermarket companies make them, obviously Ford or whatever must send them like the blueprints or uh, molds for it, so they can make some money as well, I guess. And then they just whether it's um, inferior products that they make it with, how long they last and stuff. But what I also found in the BF is is the dash mat. If you like dash mats, I like dash mats myself as I've got older. Um, when I was in my 20s and stuff like that, oh, dash mats, but um, when you get a bit more older and a little bit more wise, or maybe not wise, but just you want to start protecting things. So, what I found is the dash mat that's in the BF, it, it, it was cut so you could see this part and you could see or see the whole part of the airbag. Now, the problem with that is how you saw in the wreckers um, all the shattered bits because when these get direct sun you see what happens so you, when people try to take them off they just break and smash so easy so um, very brittle so I'm gonna get a dash mat for this BF that you can get it all different styles and I'm gonna get the style that actually covers this part and co it pretty much goes from that court right on the edge of that line and over but um yeah, that's good that that came. That's there was none there when uh, I've got the car, so yeah, that's that. And let I'll let you know about these uh, yellow lugs as a tip or advice. Don't obviously have to take it, but it'll be a good tip. So that's the top of the ICC cover and a BF. I think the same as BA, but anyway. XR6 um, boot with a nice spoiler. 80 bucks, what a bargain. And he had like a very small little dint in it, very small. And a little bit of paint touch up there, but overall. Very nice. Good find. Uh, Jollies in Geelong, and this is what we're after. This is the dual air vent. It's already been taken off on that one, but we'll see if we can keep on looking and uh, finding another. Okay, good news. Found another one. So, where they block off the vents. That's a nice plastic piece, and there's your your extra vent for going down. 
in good condition. So we'll get that off now. Back from the wreckers. This is actually out of the BF. This is the replacement black console. I'm not sure which um, top of the lid is better, but this is entirely bl entirely black. Still, I'll give it a bit of a clean. Um, these are the vents that I got. That gives you your extra vents. So what I was thinking, oh, also these are the scuff. I got black ones instead of the cream ones. Black to go with the black carpet. They'll ne all need a clean. They're straight from the records. Haven't touched them. Black glove box. And uh, so what I did yesterday is also I got some. Oh, that's the other old ICC. Um, I got some plastic primer. And I got what they call stainless steel finish. Now this lid, I know the lids are not always accurate, but I tried to match at the back as close as I could to that silver, right? So what I want to do is I'll be taking all of these out off the actual vents itself, the, the covers, and on here, because it's sort of like a, it's a, it's a sort of, Slight darky silver on that one, and that one's very dark. I got those for two different cars, but um, I want to do that silver top and bottom, and that length still and the top, and try to match it to this air vent. Which also, if you look at the yeah the ICC, it's. Pretty close in colour. If not, um, see, it's different lights I'm inside at the moment. So, but this looks pretty good. So, I want to try and match the vents with the actual ICC centre part just to give it a little bit of tone cont contrast. So, I got this all from Jolly's, minus obviously the air vent from the car already. I think it was only about 130, 140 bucks for everything that I got. Even I even got the dark, um, seat belt covers plates whatever you want to call them as well so good find and getting all those air vents and all that sort of stuff so yeah i can definitely recommend jollies okay so these are the dual vents for the bf i gotta paint the fronts now not those ones yet one second which ones is it yeah oh sorry uh, to get these ones off, just the back back parts of them, they're pretty much, um, they got these like little lugs. So sort of see that little lug down the bottom? And they've got another one that's under there. It's just there. That square little lump. Anyway, they just, they're very easy, right? There's that little square, that one, and they got the, on the adjacent side. You just, these are very easy you just pretty much you just pull up on that edge and these back areas will slide off or slide out very easy now for the vent vents you see not the white sides where they got the mechanism on the other side you got the those little round Oh, it's only one round. Okay, on the side with the big round bumps, you practically just get like a tool like this or a screwdriver. And all you have to do is you bring it in there and just a slight pull down. One second. Make sure the bit's straight. Of course, hard with one hand. But you just tilt it and this whole thing will start to come out. It's already coming out. That's all they are. And then you just bring the whole thing out. So this is the start of the vent um, painting. Yeah, so that's um, what the vents look like out. They're out. And these can now be prepped for paint. You just got to... Now this is the back of the console where the fans are. Now to get these ones out, you just pretty much... You're pushing down here that's got the these two big lugs there you pretty much just 
bringing them around like that and then they, the whole thing pops off so I want to be I'm going to be painting this one as well and it's off too easy okay for the these panels what I'm doing is just using 600 grit to um, take off the shine or a little bit of the clear gloss um, film that's on the top of it I'm only going to be I'm leaving the inside but all the outside I'm just going to scuff up with the 600 grit with this nice steamy hot water so this is the first panel I'm going to be doing there's a few to go but we'll get there okay we're getting ready for paint um what I'm gonna... okay so this is the one that's closest to the ICC stainless steel finish Duramax so we'll put that one on okay so on this BF under this trim which is just unclippable like that you just got the three screws bang and uh, bang and bang it was there and um yeah they block it off with this trim so with the with the freshly painted new trims or refurbished trims it's going to look better than this and we're going to have the extra vent so i'm just taking this off now and then once those screws are out which i still got one there to go just here that should just all pop out it's already starting to try to move i've ordered um another dash mat a molded version cost a little bit more but it should be better so this should just pop out like that and there just give it a bit of a clean this is getting replaced so yeah oh, the size of that uh, inlet hole there let's have a look inside yeah. they look all good on the outside but it's just all me me mechanical stuff on the inside see so. So yeah, time to replace the vents. What I also do when I ever expose internal vents, give them a clean, and then give them some uh, fragrance. Oops. Let me change hands. Have you better one? Now do some fragrance in there. And when your fan goes on, at least for a at least for a time period, that will. Um, Put out its own fresh fragrance so just a tip makes it nice and clean because um the the spray they have a little bit of alcohol in too so it does a bit of cleaning at the same time so it's nice and shiny nice and fresh and uh ready to take on the new vent okay i put the painted parts in well they come out well so you can see you can see the comparison i'll put that there and this is the painted one, obviously gutted, but you can see the, the difference of how much that will stand out from the darker colour. Obviously I still have the dark vents. Now the other thing is, is when you turn these over, for the back area, you can see this one's blocked, that's how they block them. And the, the replacement, which has got these little um, swivels, so you let the air in and out, that's open. So, closed off vent and open vent. So two extra vents. Oh, sorry, one extra vent, bar the original. So, time to put it together. Okay, so piecing these together is pretty easy. They go in pretty easy. You see that sort of... Um, that part going down that's up the top so it has to sit in like that that round center piece goes to the edge and slips into that little hole so i'm gonna have to do this two hands but it's pretty much bang and then you just find the hole on that side and then she'll swivel very easy next is the vent to put in got that other piece in but the pressure from these 
goes against them. So this one was slightly a little bit looser than the top one, but these vents definitely keep them a bit more stable on both sides, like a um, bit of wood in between the frame. So next, you can see how they go into these square slots. There's one on each side. So try to, um, when you, if you do pull them apart, just try to remember or put all all one vent and all its parts on one side and keep it together and that way you shouldn't have as much problem anyway. I mixed all mine up so I'm just piecing it back together. So next is to slide that vent into that one. Just um, before you put those white ones in, don't forget your um, center cover piece. I forgot that was out of it. So that goes in first and sits in between. That just slides out easy. Now a quick tip when putting in the small vents, don't put them in straight like that because those squares, they don't line up like that. You have to put them in like that and then swivel them at the end of once they're fully in. And then they'll clip into place because you've got two square grooves on both sides. Another tip on these as they go in, see how it's got like that little groove? If you look on the inside of where it goes, it's got that little that little line just before the hole. Oh, sorry, after the hole. So the hole and then that line. That little groove, well, seems to work for me. Seems to go in sliding that way. Okay, so that's both of those vents done. Now just be careful also, on the end of these, they have like that round thing, a round bit. Those little square things pop off easy sometimes. So just remember, they unclip, and they're your guide when they're going inside the vent. Yeah, so just keep that in mind. But let's stick them on. They look gross. Okay, so that's that one side done. Definitely uh, brings it up. And yeah, it's very similar to the ICC. Okay, so that side's on now. How nice does that come up? Yeah. yeah, it really gives it a more of a shape to it and defines it and extra vents.